everyone today I'm going to be making my famous garlic mashed potatoes I just love these so to get started first I'm gonna go ahead and drain my potatoes in the strainer this I'm gonna go ahead and place my potatoes back in to the hot pan that I cooked them in and I'm actually going to list all of the measurements th that I use to make this in the description box below but the ingredients I did use was chicken bouillon to my potato broth. And then for the mixture, I'm using heavy whipping cream and a whole stick of butter. And then I actually have an additional stick of butter right here. And I have some fresh roasted garlic I made earlier. You can check out my other video to learn how to do that. And some salt and pepper. So to get started, to so the mashed potatoes, we're going to go ahead and empty, this is the heavy whipping cream and the butter mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding this. I'm right handed so it's hard, let me go ahead and switch my hands. So these are so delicious. I've always loved mashed potatoes since I was a kid. Now my kids love them too. So the chicken bouillon really makes a huge difference as far as the flavor goes. Like some people like to use chicken broth, but I don't, I don't like that. Like for me, it doesn't give the flavor this does. So that's my tip to you is the chicken broth. So let me go ahead and add some more of my mixture. I actually added a little bit of salt and black pepper to the heavy whipping cream butter mixture and then I'm gonna add some more later. With this dish I always like to taste it as I'm making it just so I know the ingredients are, are spot on. I'll go ahead and add the rest. And then I'm going to go ahead and add all of my, my roasted garlic. And this will just break up. Like the more you mix it in here, the more it's going to like flavor all of the mashed potatoes and break up. Mmm, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell. The I just love the smell of garlic anyway. But when you roast it like this, it just, the aroma is just like 10 times better. Okay, and then to this, I'm gonna add some more butter because you can never have enough butter on your mashed potatoes. And just keep mashing. They're so buttery and creamy. So you just wanna keep mashing them really well. And then I always like to add some black pepper to my mashed potatoes and a little extra salt and then just taste it as you go so I'm gonna give it a taste test in just a second and see how creamy these are mmm so good I could just eat like this whole pot I'm not even exaggerating I just love these 
ability. There we go. Can you see that? They're so creamy. Mmm, it's really good. Excellent. I give these a 10 out of 10. They're really, really delicious. So, I don't know, it's hot weather right now, but I can always eat these. I can always go for these. Alrighty, you guys, give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and leave the exact measurements that I use for this down below in the description box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.